Getting the facts right. This is WCTI News Channel 12 at 5.30. As you take a look around the region, the radar all dry out there. Just a little bit of a hint of the uh, sea breeze running from about Jacksonville to New Bern. And we're not seeing any showers pop up along that. Satellite radar will show you why not much in the way of clouds. Again, you can see that sea breeze slowly making its way inland here. But again, just not much with it this afternoon. In fact, over both North and South Carolina, we're looking mainly dry out there. Southeastern part of the country as well. Maybe a few more showers down in the Gulf of Mexico. Look at the temperatures right now. Well, we're right around 90 degrees, and that's uh, certainly a pleasant relief compared to what we've been having. The feels like temperature, that's about the same. That's the way we like to see it. Otherwise, take a look at the drought monitor over the southeastern part of the country. You can see we do have a moderate drought over parts of our area, otherwise extremely dry conditions. We could certainly use some rain, Brian, in order to uh, rectify this problem because we're getting pretty dry out there. And farmers are really feeling it, Donnie. Uh, their crops, too. One farmer already lost 10 acres of crops. That's affected them for three or four years now. News Channel 12's Morgan Newell is in the original Washington to show us how the farmers are dealing with it. Brian, usually Griffin Farms Inc. would be out here on 15th 